Mason is still throwing a really pretty football. Uh, I think that in terms of the consistency element of it, in terms of his throwing, I think that he's number two right now behind Mitch when you're talking about just the consistency oh, with. No. But in context, you got to remember, this is still Kenny's, what, fifth, sixth practice that he has completed now? So when I'm watching them in certain elements, because like I said, it's not always 11-on-11 11 11 team stuff. They will have a lot of the practice being more drill work, more specific things. So in some of these things, it's more accuracy related. It's more ball placement, deep passes. Mitch, to me, has been the most accurate shown the most touch shown the most consistency in terms of arm strength i haven't seen i don't think i've seen one pass from mitch when we're talking about the drill portion not the team portion just the drill portion where it's been a football where i'm like oh gosh that was a little low that was too high that was a wobble that was a duck like mitch has just consistently <clears throat> every single day it looks a certain way and that comes with being a guy that's been in this league for multiple years. That is how veterans practice. It's always going to look a certain way. That's what we say it's hard to beat out a vet in practice. It's going to take like either a guy doing something astronomical, that vet slacking up, or more than likely, you got to wait till the games happen to really try to expose that vet or have that young guy really do something special. Because in practice, Mitch, you're not seeing bad plays from Mitch. Whereas when you go to Mason, Mason, I think, is that next in line in terms of being consistent in the drill portion, not team portion, just the drill portion, where I think that he's thrown that second most consistent ball. But even he's had some throws where I'm just kind of like, oh, Mason, you got to be better than that right there. But then the same could be said about Kenny. But with Kenny, it just happens more frequently. I think that Kenny has a pretty spiral. Like when he throws his spiral, he has one of the prettiest spirals out there, but the consistency with it. And this was part of where I laughed to myself and I was like, I get when people keep bringing up the hand part because you can tell at times, not that it's going to affect him. I don't think it's going to affect him to an extent where we're all going to be feeling it. But when you're watching him in a drill setting where you're throwing 10 passes back to back after I just saw this guy throw 10, after I saw that guy throw 10, and I'm looking at how their spiral comes out, the pipe, the, the pop on their arm and just the consistency with it. Whereas with Kenny, it's like if he threw 10 seven of them are on the money but then he's gonna have three where i'm like man was that because of the hand size it was kind of flop you know what i mean like almost like the ball was too big for him but once again this is when you're talking about in a setting where you're doing it back to back to back it's to like back, rapid to back. Fire. right you're not gonna see most people aren't seeing that element when you're talking on sunday because you're not throwing 10 passes in a row and even if you are, it's still more spaced out. You got 30 seconds between each play. You got huddles and stuff like that. Whereas in the drill work, it's snap, catch, throwing it. All right. You ready? Snap, catch, throwing it. So it's a lot more faster of a pace. So part of that, I'm like, okay, I'm sure all of that goes into it. But just from what I've been seeing, that's kind of how I've ranked them in terms of just the accuracy and the consistency with the throwing. When you're talking about the team portion, I've already told you, I think it's Mitch and then Kenny right there. But when you're talking about just the consistency of just throwing the football, I do think that Mason is that number two guy right now in that capacity. Mitch, and Kenny, close? You said who? Is Mitch, Kenny, close? Close enough that you think it's going to be legit competition with no, training no, it, camp? It, it, will, it will definitely be a competition, but I think the competition will more so be related to Kenny being able to extend plays because you have to remember right now it's a controlled environment. Mitch doesn't have to worry about being hit. He doesn't have to worry about legitimate pressure. When that happens, now you're forced to throw on the run. Now you're forced to use your mobility. I've already told you, Kenny is the best athlete at quarterback. I, and I'm not including Chris. Chris Oladuka, um, I think that he de yeah, he's obviously he a great athlete. But to me, I think that his, his consistency with his arm is below Kenny. But when you're talking about those two guys being collegiate athletes coming into the pros, well, we know Kenny was ranked a lot higher. And that does show. When you're looking at those two guys, Chris, phenomenal athlete. But his ball placement, the spiral of it, the tightness of it is very inconsistent. Some throws... It's arching. Some have been a little short. Every once in a while, you, you'll get a nice throw. You're like, all right, money. But you can just see the inconsistency with it. And when you're talking about at the NFL level, that's the difference. You can't just make that throw one out of four times. The great ones make it four out of four. The good ones make it three out of four. The average guys are two out of four. So you can see the importance of making those throws consistently every single time. And with the younger guys, Kenny and Chris, they're going to pick that up. They'll get improvements in that area. But 
that's why to me, Mitch has been the clear front runner throughout this process because he's just been through this more often. And you could just see the comfort level and just understanding how to practice as a professional. Mm. No. I think there's a lot of good things being said about no, all these guys. Absolutely that's it, is, right. Yeah. With Kenny, looks like he's got some leadership. Mm -hmm. Mitch is looking good just because of yeah. how long he's been in the league. Yeah, and he just he almost just looks, looks like he most, owns it. Yeah, he looks like he's been QB one before. Right. That's what it looks like. Whereas Kenny, you can see he's doing all the little intangibles. He's on the field early. He stays after. He's trying to talk with guys. He's doing those things, right? But you could just see the on field part, it takes time. Yeah. And that's normal. It's like I said, I don't think that anyone should be nervous about it. It's, oh man, we got to get rid of this competition. Like, no, 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 no. This is a part of that natural progression. Kenny isn't passing Mitch in OTAs. Kenny's move is when the preseason starts. This is all him getting prepared for that. And Mitch understands that as well. Mason does too. So this is all a part of that natural progression. So it's not a man is a terrible pick or anything like that. I just think that that's just how it goes when you're talking about the quarterback position in particular, man.